Am I the only one that feels like they just can't do this anymore? I just got back from the grocery store. Let me show you what I bought. This is all I purchased. That's it. This is dinner for tonight. A few snacks for my kids they wanted. And dinner for them tomorrow night. The pizza. That's it. Some veggies. I didn't even buy the organic stuff. I bought the cheapest stuff. Um, bought stuff that was on sale. There's a few things I am picky about ingredients, such as the tomatoes. But that's it. Everything else was the least expensive stuff. Take a guess. Take a guess at what it costs. And you're probably wrong. $123. $123 that was with all my discounts for barely two nights of dinner. Barely two nights. I remember when I could spend about 120 bucks and get groceries for a whole week. And that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all of us. And $123 is going to get me through the next two days. I can't do this much longer. But financially, I can't. I don't want to spend the money, but it's also just killing me. And I make decent money, so something's got to give here. We're just giving this migrant population more free stuff. Uh, at the expense of New York City taxpayers. Some migrant families will soon be given prepaid credit cards to buy food and baby supplies. According to the New York Post, this pilot program will cost the city $53 million. The amount loaded on the card will depend on the family size. There are questions tonight about a controversial program launched by the Adams administration to give migrant families prepaid debit cards to buy food and other things they need. According to the contract, the most a card can have is $10,000, but most cards will be refilled every four weeks. A family of four can get about $1,000, $35 a day, and they can buy whatever food they want to eat. Yo, this is what $70 gets you at Walmart. Yep, that's it, $70. Shop with me at Costco. The prices are insane. Three steaks of seventy dollars. A strip loin roast, one hundred and eighty-two. Prime rib roast, one hundred and sixty-nine dollars. Eleven ninety-nine. Thing of grapes. Five avocados, eight ninety-nine. This was four hundred and fifty dollars. I believe I got like ten items. Outrageous. Hey y'all, I just left Costco, and this was $200, actually $201, you see that, yeah, that's ridiculous. Whoa, that's crazy. Migrants get more money for food than New Yorkers get in food stamps. They really don't care about regular Americans. Everything has to be given to migrants. I feel bad for the guy. I remember less than three years ago, a trip to the grocery store used to cost me no more than $145. Today, less than three years later, I would be lucky if it cost me less than $220. But in New York, migrants are getting prepaid debit cards loaded up with up to $1,000 each month or $35 per day to help them buy food, baby products, and other groceries. Council member Gail Brewer says she wants to investigate a pilot program launched by Mayor Adams to give asylum seekers prepaid debit cards that will allow them to buy food, baby products, and other necessities at supermarkets, bodegas, groceries, and convenience stores. Keep in mind, New York City residents are not getting any kind of help to buy food or groceries. That's outrageous. The money given to migrants is more than what people receive in SNAP benefit, aka food stamps. Yes, you heard that right. 
Migrants get more money for food than New Yorkers get in food stamps. Out of the $53 million spent, $125,000 will be spent on setup fees, $250,000 in annual management fees, and fees based on how much is doled out to migrants. Whoa, that's crazy. The $53 million contract reviewed by CBS2 gives the firm Mobility Capital Finance lots of fees for services, including a $125,000 one-time setup fee, $250,000 in annual management fees, and fees based on how much money is distributed to migrants, $1.5 million for the first $50 million handed out, $2.5 million for the next $100 million. It is going to save us in the area of $7.2 million a year. Uh, I believe $600,000 uh, a month. Mayor Adams has the nerve to say that giving migrants $1,000 per month to buy food will save New York City millions. How can the city spend $53 million on migrants but still claim that it will save New York City $7.2 million per year? And by the way, New Yorkers won't get a dime to help pay for food or groceries. Mayor Adams called the program cost-effective. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Do you want to know what is cost effective? Not spending $53 million on migrants, but instead use that money to help regular working New Yorkers. They are giving migrants more stuff at the expense of New Yorkers. Sometimes I really wonder how people in New York are not up in arms and protesting against this program. Oh wait, never mind. People in New York are actually against giving away this free stuff to migrants. Let's watch this video. Neighborhood. A food fight in one neighborhood in Queens between NYCHA tenants and newly arrived migrants. Fox News' Ashley Rodriguez shows us how tensions are growing with not enough food to go around. Why do we have to take the butt of everything, okay? This community here is already suffering. The residents living in NYCHA's Queensbridge houses look forward to the mobile food pantries that show up weekly. But over the past year, they have witnessed 8,000 migrants move into their neighborhood, and they have also noticed the migrants are also starting to take their stuff. They was first online for the turkeys this morning. If they tell you to be there at 11 o'clock, you get there like... 10.30, 10.45, but they already out there. The line is from over there to over here. Free food giveaways, especially during the holidays, have become a source of tension between longtime New Yorkers struggling to get by and newly arrived migrants who are using the system to survive. A month ago, one altercation got so heated between a resident and a migrant, someone ended up in the hospital. We would never turn anyone away for a meal, but there simply just is not enough for both NYCHA residents and the migrant shelter residents. People are going hungry right now. People are frustrated with not having enough to eat, not having heat and hot water in their shelters or in their houses in NYCHA. And people want to make sure that they just have our, their basic needs met like any human would anywhere. And that's what's causing the tension. But you want to know what is really sad? The money given monthly to migrants are higher than New Yorkers SNAP benefit, also called food stamps. Yes, you heard that right. Hundreds of migrant families in New York City would be getting more food money than the city's low-income residents do from Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or SNAP benefit. They really don't care about regular Americans. Everything has to be given to migrants. In some states, they are building apartments where migrants can literally live rent-free for up to two years. Yes, up to two years of free rent. Take for instance the state of Maine. The state of Maine will be paying rent for homeless immigrants living in apartments located in the town of Brunswick. The state budgeted nearly $3.5 million to provide 60 migrant families in Brunswick with two years of free rent. Maine expects the immigrants to gain the means to pay housing costs through state support or guidance. Now, as you guess, and rightfully so, people are not happy about this. Let's watch this. You guys are listening to the state. You have all these houses being built. That's discrimination in my eyes. And I wanted to know if you guys had your lawyer here because my cousin, my ex-wife, my friend, my black friend, my white friend, my any friend, they have to follow the standards of this. If they want to go to a place in Brunswick, they need three years tax returns, first month, last month, social security, this, that, and it's a, it's a battle. Nobody can live. But now you're just going to fill these houses full of people that don't have any of that. They're not even from here. I hate to say it. Half of them are illegal because they came across the border, not through the port of entry. Some may be legal. Well, if they're legal and they got a job and they're paying their taxes and they're paying their bills and they got three months proof of this and that, so what's going on? 
Am I too white? Is that what it is? And, and do I work too much? What, what's the discrimination factor? Where is, like I said in that last meeting, nobody got a hold of me. Where is my two years free stuff? But guys, do you know why these politicians are giving away free stuff to Mike and Rye? Four words, new votes and cheap labor. Yes, they are trying to get more votes to stay in power while having cheap labor to replace us. That's the end game.